Hello everyone. Let's learn how you can create a new financial year in Marg ERP software. In this video, we will create upcoming financial year 2025-26. Before starting the process, you need to keep a few important points in mind. First, before creating a new financial year, you must take a backup of the previous financial year. And how can you take a backup of the financial year? For this, you can use the backup of financial year video link provided in the description box. Second, if you are using multi-user software, you must create the new financial year on your main system only. And the software must be closed on all other node system. Third, you also need to close the server backup file, example, the auto backup file. Apart from these, you should also pay attention to some other important points such as Chalans are transferred only once and after the previous year's chalans are transferred to the new financial year, they will no longer be visible in the previous year. So while transferring chalans, keep this in mind. Pending purchase and sales orders from the previous year will not be visible in the new financial year. However, when you create a bill in the new financial year, the pending orders from the previous year will appear in a pop-up window on the billing screen. You can choose to load them into the bill if needed. PDC Post dated checks Additionally, previous year will be visible in both the new financial year and the previous financial year. Sales bill from the previous year can be weaved in the new financial year, but they cannot be modified. After creating the new financial year, you can apply user Y restrictions if needed. You can easily transfer your previous year's profit to the new financial year. These include some challenges. PDCs, sales bills and pending sales and purchase orders that we created in the previous financial year 2024-25 along with our profit. Now, once we completed the new financial year creation process, we will implement each of these points one by one to give you a clear understanding. Let's now start the new financial year creation process. For this, first, we will select the company from the list of companies for which we want to create a new financial year. Then, we will press enter or F8 key. Next, in the open window, we will click on the new financial year option. This will open the new year creation window, where the software will display both the previous financial year and the new financial year. Here, you will notice that the new financial year will be created from 1st April 2025 to 31st March 2026. After that, click on the Accept button. Then, a confirmation window will open with the message, you are going to create new books of account from this date to this date. Shall I proceed? To confirm, click on the Yes button. As soon as you click Yes, the Transfer Options window will open. From here, you can set the options to yes for the data you want to transfer from the previous financial year to the new financial year. For example, as you can see, transfer ledger balance. If you want to transfer ledger balance from the previous year to the new year, select yes from the drop down, otherwise select no. Similarly, if you want to transfer outstanding stock balances and breakage expiry stock to the new year. Select Yes from the drop-down, otherwise leave it as No. Then comes non-working parties, non-working items and non-working batches. This means the parties, items and batches with which you had no transaction or dealing in the previous year. If you also want to transfer them to the new financial year, select Yes, otherwise select No. Next is Chalans transfer. Similarly, you can also transfer Chalans such as Sales Chalan, Sales Return Chalan, Sales Breakage Expiry Chalan, Replace Chalan. By default, the Chalan transfer option is set to No and Chalans can only be transferred once. So, if you want to transfer previous year's Chalans to the new financial year, select Yes from the drop-down. Otherwise, leave it as No. Here, we would like to inform you that all transfer challenge will appear in the new financial year with the date April 1, 2025. The same process applies to purchase challenge transfer. If you want to transfer any of the purchase challenge displayed, select Yes in the respective field. Otherwise, leave it as No. Next is the Transfer Pending Orders field. 
This means if you want to transfer pending sales orders and purchase orders from the previous year to the new financial year, select yes. Otherwise, leave it as no. Then press enter. To process further, select shall I proceed and click yes. This will start the new financial year creation process in the software. Please do not interrupt this process or close the system as it may affect your data. After that, an alert message for create new history will appear. If you want to forward the previous year's bill history to the current year, you can run the bill history. To do this, follow the path shown in the alert message to create the batch and bill history. For now, click close. Then, in the list of companies, select the company for which we just created the new financial year and press enter. Now, press enter on Mark Gateway. Here, you will see both the old financial year and the new financial year that we just created. Select the new financial year and press enter. This will take you to the software home screen. Now, you can start working in the new financial year. One important thing to note. Once the new financial year is created, do not delete it, as chalans can only be transferred once. Additionally, if you make any changes in the previous year and want them to reflect in the new financial year, the software will show a pop-up window for carry balance. Using this carry balance option, you can transfer the changes from the previous year to the new financial year. Make sure to take a backup of your software before carrying balances. As you can see the screen, an alert window appears where the software asks whether you want to transfer the changes made in the last year to the current year. Additionally, you will see some options below. If you want to transfer all the changes made in the last year to the new financial year, simply click on the Yes tab. In case this carry balance window does not appear when entering the new financial year, you can use the carry balance option in the software to transfer the changes from the previous year to the new financial year. To use the carry balance option, first go to reports menu, management reports, then navigate to utilize and click on carry balances. This will open the carry balance window where the software will ask for confirmation that your carry balances are being transferred from the last financial year to the current financial year. Click yes to confirm. Then, similar to transfer options, a carry balance options window will open. Here, select yes for the options you want to transfer and continue pressing enter until you reach the carry general reminder option. Then select yes and press enter again. After this, you will see a confirmation message saying start carrying from last year. Click yes to confirm. This way, the previous year's balances will be carried forward to the new financial year. If you want to check whether all ledgers and their balances have been carried forward to the new financial year, you can press Ctrl plus L on the software home screen to view the changes. Similarly, you can press Ctrl plus I to check the item balances. Apart from this, let's also implement the points we discussed before starting the process. As we mentioned earlier, once chalans are transferred, they get removed from the previous year. You can see that the chalans we showed in the previous year are removed from there. The same chalans are now visible in the new financial year with the date April 1st. Next is pending orders. As we mentioned earlier, Pending sales and purchase orders from the previous year will only appear in a pop-up window when generating a bill in the new financial year. You can see on the screen how the pending orders pop-up window appears when creating a sales purchase bill. If required, you can select the pending orders and load them into the bill. After this, to check PDC in the new financial year, go to the party ledger. Press the F8 key in the party ledger and you will see that the PDCs created in the previous year are now showing as they are in the new financial year. Next, if you want to view the sales transaction from the previous year, follow these steps. On the home screen of the new financial year, press Alt plus L. Enter the ledger for which you want to see last year's sales bill transactions. Click on the ledger button, then press Alt plus F1. Select last year as yes. So, you can see that the last year's entry is now visible. You can view this entry, but no modification can be made. 
next now if you want to transfer the last year's profit to the new financial year then the profit has to be transferred to the capital amount for this in the new financial year window go to the accounts menu from there go to the voucher entry and then to journal entry in the debit side select the profit and loss ledger mention the amount that needs to be transferred then in the credit side select the capital account after creating the journal entry save it this way the profit from the previous year will be transferred to the current year finally let's talk about managing multiple operators in your system if multiple operators work on your system and you want to apply certain restrictions after creating the new financial year such as operators should not be able to modify any entry in the previous year etc for this follow these steps go to the master menu select password and powers click on the operators option click on supervisor id select search in all option search for last year and accept you will now see the last year data entry option in the drop down menu you will see multiple options if you want to restrict operators from accessing the last year select the last year ban option from the drop down or if you want to allow them to make entries or edit in the previous year select the entry edit and amend option in this way you can choose the options as per your requirements we select the last year ban option then we press the escape key to save the changes and go back now on the home screen we press control plus u and log in using the user id and password of the operator on whom the restriction has been applied then we go to the mark gateway select last year and you can see that the user is not eligible to switch to the last year this is how friends you can create a new financial year in mark erp software and carry forward your balances from the previous year to the new year thanks for watching